Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This is the final video in the series about central and inscribed angles when you see them in a circle. We're at the second self quiz and make sure you have a piece of paper ready and uh, hopefully you've seen all the videos that have run up to this with the basic idea here and a couple of problem sets so you can practice. And now we're going to have a self quiz where the last two problems here are a little more challenging and I urge you to give them a try. So let's take a look. Alright, in problem number five I want you to try, it asks for the measure of arc XW, hopefully you're familiar with that notation there, and I have it highlighted here, XW is this arc, and it is labeled as 26 um, X minus 6. This arc here, WY, is already measured to be 80 degrees, and this arc here, XY, is measured to be tw uh, 21 X plus 4. Can you somehow combine all that information and figure out not only what X is, but then plug it in here and figure out the actual measure of arc XW? And in number six, if we take a look at that, we have a quadrilateral here inscribed in the circle. And this arc right here, of course, as you can see, is 6X minus 8. This arc here is 4X plus 20. And this angle inside here is 7X plus 18 and we're trying to figure out of course what X is and then plug it into this expression and find its actual measure All right, pause this video and good luck So here's the answer to number five 150 degrees All right, well, let's go over it and see if you got stuck maybe where you made a mistake But here's how you can think through it now. I notice I have a triangle inside here and you know there's a number of things we can think about one that comes to mind right away is the fact that these three inscribed angles have to add up to 180 degrees now in some cases not in this problem in some cases we would use that information to help us out if this is an arc of 80 degrees that means this angle here at X is 40 degrees that's your inscribed angle but I think the easiest way to go is to take this arc here 26 X minus 6 and this arc here, which is already measured to be 80, and this arc here, 21x plus 4, if we know we add all three of those together, it'll give us 360 degrees. Ah, there's our equation. Once we get an equation with a single variable of x, we can put it together, solve it, find out what x is, and then plug it right back in to this expression. We're looking for arc xw. All right, so let's do that. So these are our three arcs added together to give us 360. Now we're going to be combining our like terms. Those are our x terms there and our constant terms. That's our first step. So that will give us 47x plus 78. And the 78 comes from um, a negative 6 plus 80 plus 4. All right. Now let's subtract 78 from each side. And then we divide each side by 47, and we will know that x is 6. Now we are going to take this expression here, 26x minus 6, substitute 6 in for x, and that will give us our answer. So that would be um, 156 minus 6, and yep. That confirms our answer of 150. All right, so we look at the diagram and we put something together to write an equation to solve for x and substitute. All right, let's look at the number six now. All right, our answer is 109 degrees, and here's how we get that. Now, we're given that this angle here, uh, which we're trying to find the measure of, is written algebraically as 7x plus 18. Now what we do know is that that inscribed angle, if we double that, that gives us the measure of this arc. And this arc, this major arc here in yellow, combined with these other two arcs as labeled, 
make 360, similar to the previous problem. So what is the measure of this arc? Well, we don't know exactly, but we know it, you know, algebraically it would be double this, right? An inscribed angle is always half as much as its arc. So let's double this, which will give us 14x plus 36. All right, hopefully you see where I got that. I'm going to double, multiply both terms by 2 there, and that will give us this expression. So 14x plus 36 is the measure of this major arc in yellow combined with these other two that gives us 360. So let's write that down and see what happens. 14x plus 36. That's my major arc there in yellow. And then we're going to add 6x minus 8. And then we're going to add, hopefully I have room for this, 4x plus 20. And that is going to equal 360. I'm going to squish it in here so I don't have to move the screen. All right. Now let's combine like terms. 24x plus 48 equals 360. Then we are going to subtract 48 from each side. and divide both sides by 24. X equals 13. Now am I done? No, reread the problem, let's see. Oh, we need to find the angle measure of PFG, which we know in algebra is 7X plus 18, so we need to substitute that in. So, seven times my X value of 13 plus 18. 91 plus 18 there we go 109 degrees all right that finishes it for this self quiz thanks so much for watching and if I have viewers who send me in uh, more complex problems like this that they have a problem with or a challenge or if there's something that I think I can add that'll be a viewer challenge video so look for that and it'll be enhancing this lesson all right, thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.